Well, hi, everybody. I'm WFAA Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkus. Uh, another one of our YouTube extended uh, weather forecasts here for you, where I have the opportunity to dig a little bit deeper into the uh, meteorology of it. We are looking at uh, the, the heart of North Texas. The Metroplex is under everyone in the Metroplex. Metroplex, the definition, Dallas County, Tarrant County, Denton County, Collin County, and also Rockwall County, uh, Metroplex. I, I know there's a multiple definitions, but nonetheless, I call it the Metroplex. So all under a winter storm warning. Why the winter storm? morning here. That's due to ice, higher ice amounts in the Metroplex and bigger problems than areas that are under the winter weather advisory. Problems here as well, but just lighter ice amounts. So a quarter of an inch or more in these areas shaded in pink and a quarter of an inch or less these areas shaded in purple. So uh, what can we expect as we head through the evening? Patchy, uh, freezing drizzle, kind of what we've had throughout the day is what we'll have this evening. Some slick bridges, some overpasses and very cold temperatures, temperatures in the middle to lower 20s. Then as we head through the overnight tonight and throughout the day on Thursday, we will have this widespread heavier freezing rain and even a little bit of sleet mixing in, causing some higher ice accumulations <clears throat> and some slick and hazardous roads. That's late Wednesday night and during the day on Thursday. Finally, by late day Thursday, certainly Thursday evening and Thursday over night. All the precip will end from west to east and any melting that we have had during the afternoon on Thursday will refreeze late Thursday night. So with that said, the timing. Remember what we had today, just patchy but light freezing drizzle. That's what we're showing here as we head through the evening. That'll be with us at 8 o'clock, at 10 o'clock, <clears throat> and uh, what we're looking at up along the Red River where we'll see a little bit more ice. The travel will be pretty hazardous here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. It's still going to be hazardous. It just won't be as widespread during the evening hours in southeast Texas. It's just a cold, a cold, regular old rain. Watch as we head through midnight. You see that now the freezing drizzle has turned into freezing rain and it's widespread during the overnight. <clears throat> Five o'clock in the morning, even seven o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. It's still widespread. It's trying to wind down beginning at noon tomorrow and by 2 p.m. It's not nearly as widespread and by 5 p.m. Most of the precip should uh, be coming to an end. Certainly by seven o'clock we will see some clearing and the precip will move out. So overnight tonight, and during the day on Thursday, uh, icy roads and hazardous travel will be much more widespread and certainly more significant during this time frame than what it was during the day on Wednesday. That's the entire Metroplex and a big chunk of uh, North Texas. Areas to the east will have still see some icy bridges and overpasses, and it just won't be as widespread in these areas in pink as it is in the areas in blue. And it's just a wet, uh, just a cold rain for areas off to the uh, southeast. And then as we head through Thursday night, uh, we dry out and we do have some sunshine in our forecast on Friday. Friday morning, though, we could continue to see some lingering icy roads, bridges and overpasses. So please stay alert really anywhere across North Texas. Uh, certainly at a minimum, some slick spots will be taking place there. So ice totals highest to the northeast up around Sherman and Bonham where they could see a quarter to a half an inch of ice. That's a lot of ice in the Metroplex. A tenth to a quarter plus is in the forecast there and all these other locations could be a glazing up to a tenth of an inch. So that's why right now we're very concerned about all of North Texas. We have the winter storm warning. The winter weather advisories are in place. Stay alert. Keep it right here on Channel 8 and on WFAA. We will keep you updated with the latest, not only on social media, but WFA.com too, our digital, uh, our website. So check that out as well. Otherwise, I'll see you tonight on News 8 at 10. I'll have a more in-depth uh, explanation and the latest on the timing and totals too. We'll see you then.